Eminem was there. There were a lot of celebrities there. They were hundreds and thousands of people in downtown Detroit by Ford Field. Very overwhelming. Aggressive pedestrians walking in front of you, over your car, behind your car, because the Lions had done something that had not been done in over 30 years. They did lose to San Francisco, and that brings even a different type of attitude and feeling to the Midwest. Fear of cyclists and motorcycles. In the downtown area, people travel on foot. They ride bikes, scooters, four-wheelers. This has been a problem across the country, particularly in urban areas. And I'm in an urban area. And I love my cities. Sometimes those areas can be very deadly. You do not want to be involved in those deadly areas. You do not want to be down there after a certain time when it gets dark. You do not want to be a female in a certain area. I'm just telling you facts. You can check the police reports. They warn people not to be in certain areas at a certain time because you look a certain way, you act a certain way. And if you act fearful, and people can see fear in your eyes, it's like a piranha in a fish tank and a drop of blood is there. So you have to really be mindful of those situations and not lose your composure. Inability to control your surroundings. You have a flat tire. You go on a one way. And you're in downtown Chicago, downtown Detroit, downtown New York, uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Now you feel anxiety or you don't know how to park. You've been circling around the block for 10 minutes. You should have been inside. The game's getting ready to start. You paid for tickets, you paid $600 for tickets, and you found one spot. And it's a tight, small spot. And you're gonna have to put your car in reverse, back up, turn the wheel all the way to the right, and get the rear end by the curb. But you have a fear of parking. You won't get the spot. And you're gonna be touching bumpers on another car. I've been in that situation before. There's no other place to park. You're going to park a mile away and pay $50 and hope your car is there. I've been through that because I've been through that with a high performance vehicle that could have been stolen. I had one stolen. Tailgating. People drive very aggressive in the cities. It's a whole new world. And a lot of people who are used to driving in the suburban areas or rural areas, when they come to the city, it's a whole new environment. The city is different. Johannesburg, London, Detroit, Chicago, ATL. These areas mean something. Detroit versus everyone. Grit. That means something. If it doesn't mean anything to you, then you're not really connected with real life because you have to be connected. We all are connected in real life. I'm connected to you right now because I'm telling you a journey that people just don't wanna drive. And it's various reasons, road rage incidents. You can get ran off the road for not having the right type of car or the wrong type of car in an area. Everyone doesn't have a Mustang. Everyone doesn't have a scat pack or a track hawk, okay? So you need to be aware and look at your surroundings. If you don't feel safe and your gas is low, why are you stopping at a gas station when there are three or four or five people hanging out? And they're looking at you as soon as you pull up and the guy's coming over to clean your window. And you only have $10. And you gotta get back and you gotta go 50 miles. You're barely gonna make it. And if you go at the speed limit, you're gonna run out of gas in the area you don't wanna be in. If you drive a little bit below the speed limit and you can get in that middle lane and maintain good speed, you're gonna be fine. I've been there. You have to have those struggles to make you better. Struggles in life make us stronger. This is why I'm here. I'm here because I want to share with you what you need to do to improve, to get you out on the road. 
because I'm a state certified driving instructor. And I want you to have success, but there's no free lunches. You've got to put in your work. And if you don't put in your work, you won't reach your goal. You got to find a good instructor. You got to trust the process. I have a podcast. It's called Driving with the Miles. M-Y-L-E-S on Spotify. Look it up. Peace.